Hi guys, how are you all doing? Today we are at the hospital. I've been feeling a bit under the weather and I felt I couldn't handle it anymore so I decided to come to the hospital. And the, I decided to come straight to the hospital instead of going to my own personal GP because it's quite early in the morning and it's currently it's about 7 and my GP would officially open I think 8 or 9 and I just wanted to go straight to the hospital as early as possible and get it sorted. And secondly, for you to be seen by the GP, sometimes you need, some GPs will say you can't do walk-ins, some GPs will say you have to book an appointment, so I'm not even sure if I had waited until 9 and gone to the GP, they will see me. So I decided to come straight to the A&E because it's for emergency treatments and no matter what time you come with or without an appointment, you would get seen at A&E. Hi guys, how are you all doing? I'm here at the hospital. I have this hospital band with me. I have this hospital. I'm here at the hospital. I have this very terrible fever that my eyes, if you look, let me look up. My eyes became very red. So I had to come to the hospital for them to like look at me. <clears throat> and I also have this terrible sore throat as well. That I'm finding it very difficult to swallow so I had to you know sometimes when you're you don't feel all right you feel like you can handle it you can do things on your own you can have home remedies and all of that but my eyes being this red I'm not sure if you can see it my color of my eyes is always very white but now my eyes is red and I have this terrible sore throat and I seem to have lost my voice as well. So I had to just come to the hospital. Right now, I'm in the hospital. The hospital staff has been very brilliant in seeing me. So I've done the, I've seen the like medical secretary where you tell them what your symptoms are. And I've been at one of the waiting area and I've also seen one of the nurses that did my initial observations, take my blood pressures and all, take my vital signs. So now I'm at the waiting area. I'm quite early. No one is in the waiting area. I'm the only one here, so I'm very early. And I'm just waiting for the doctors to come and see me. It's very early, and I think the treatment center starts, you know, because there is the I think 30 minutes hand over and by 8 they will start seeing patients. So I'm right <coughs> Pardon me. So I also have cough as well and some headache. So I'm right here at the waiting area. It's just me here. And I need to be seen. So just waiting for them to come to call me in and I am and then hopefully I'll keep you posted. So I'll try to show you around the hospital. It's quite big and the area is nice. There's somewhere, there's somewhere where there's water around. So I'll go and get some drink and I'll show you around and hopefully take you through the process. <laughs> Look at my face, my eyes is swollen. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm also thinking the same thing as well, but it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> but anyways, let's just get ourselves checked to be sure, right? So, um, yeah, I like it when I'm very early because you know, I become the first in line to the scene. I like the way this area is. The hospital, there's this. So if I came with children, you would, there's something to entertain them. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, set aside. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. I've been seen and I've also been given prescription by that lovely doctor that we just saw. So right now I'm just getting a drink while I go to the pharmacy with my prescription. So that is it. Just having a drink here because I've been advised to drink plenty of fluids. So <laughs> trying to use every opportunity I get to get as much fluids than me as possible. Sometimes when you've got sore throat, you don't even have the motivation to drink. So whenever you see a drink, just have a, just grab the opportunity to grab one. So I'm going back to the entrance where I first came in from. And yeah, I'll be getting like a, what do they call it? Like an attendance certificate. So that attendance certificate is just to, an evidence that I've been here and because the doctor advised me to have enough rest of work so this attendance certificate is also what I can use at work if I need to take time off work just to show them that I've been here and I've been advised to take some time off. Going straight to the reception the, we have some people waiting already so that means the queue is beginning to build up a lot of people still walking in so it's a good thing I came early and now I've been seen and I just need to go back home to Brest and to carry out there's a lot of people waiting so tell me when you go to public places that there is likely to be queue do you prefer going on time and to get it done and over with or do you, you don't mind whenever you go in even if by the time you get there there will be a queue to me I prefer just going very early be the first in line get seen without any weights or without any delay and then be done and go home early to get on with your day so right now at this morning minute even if I wanted to do something else or go back to work I can still have a good part of my day to get to work on time but sometimes if you come when there is a really long queue you can end up spending four hours five hours six hours just here that wouldn't have taken you one hour hi guys so <clears throat> the place i went to is accident and emergency so i've finished from there now and they've given me prescription sleep for me to go to their pharmacy to get um eye drops for my eyes i think the eyes is getting better so they've checked me they asked me to get eye drops for my eyes and also some antibiotics and the place i went to is accident and emergency accident and emergency that was the place i went to for urgent treatment and now i'm i'll be going to the area where the pharmacy is so i had to come out of the building i can walk in the building through to the pharmacy but it's quite confusing so the easiest way is for me to come out first and go through the main entrance towards where the pharmacy is so right now i'm outside the hospital building and i'm walking down to the main entrance and from there i can easily locate the pharmacy just quite easy for me to go through all of that didn't take time out at all because i was like the first set of patients that started coming so it was easier for me to be seen because there's no waiting time and this outside there's somewhere where they sell fresh fruits and vegetables which is quite handy so if i wanted to eat fruits or wanted to cook anything i can easily buy fresh fruits and veg from here this is the entrance to the main building, the main entrance to the hospital. So I'm walking and just go straight to the pharmacy. There's way out and way in, so I'll go through the way in. This is like where different uh, places are. 
So I'm going straight to the pharmacy. This is the front desk. If I don't, if you don't know your way, you can just always ask questions. And I'm going straight to the pharmacy. I've been here a few times, so I know my way around. Going straight down to the pharmacy. I feel a lot brighter, to be honest. I feel a lot, lot, lot brighter. And I know that by the time I take the medications they've prescribed for me, I'll feel a lot more brighter. Right, I'm at the pharmacy now where I can just give them my prescription and wait to collect my medication. So there's no one here, I need to ring the bell. Oh, I can ring the bell. Hello. Hi, um, I got this prescription from the doctor, so I just want to get them. Hello. Are you okay? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. What's your name and date of birth? Pregnant or breastfeeding? No. Mm -hmm. And do you pay for medication? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. So there's two items on here. Yeah. That would be nineteen pound eighty. Card or cash? Card, please. <laughs> They've taken my prescription and they've given me this little slip number 88. So when I can hear my number on the board and I'll go and pick up my medication. For now I'll just wait here and pay for it for the medication. So I'll just wait when I see my number on the screen there. So once I see my number on the screen, I'll go down to get my medication it's not ready yet for now i'm just here looking at the screen there so once i see my number number 88 on that screen i'll know my meds is ready and i can easily go and pick it up for now let's just wait <laughs> it's been a very seamless and straightforward process and i also got this <coughs> I got this from the this letter. I got it from the the first place we went to the A and E Accident and Emergency Treatment Center. So I got it from there. It's just like a certificate to say that I've been there. I've seen the doctors just in case I need time off from work. Because the doctor advised that I take a lot of time off at work and I rest and take care of myself and just have enough rest, drink enough fluid. And if I need to, like, inform the workplace that I've been to the hospital, so that's this letter is what I need to show them that I've been to the hospital and I need to take time off to rest. So now, for now, let's keep an eye on the board to see when our medication will be ready. All right, so use one in a sep each a separate eye, okay? Okay. So I'll put uh, L and R, okay? Okay. Okay. Left eye, right eye, okay? Okay. These are the anti... Where's the anti Okay. 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 These are the same antibiotics that you've got. So I'll wait until this one finishes and yeah, continue and this with this It's one. exactly the same. They will look different because they're in a different box. Okay. All right, but it's the same medicine. Okay. okay. So when that is finished, you, it says take two, four times a day. Yeah. So when, when that box is finished, it's this one. Okay. 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 So you're taking eight a day. Okay. Okay. So if there's only two left in there, you'll have to take those two and then the rest. Okay. Okay. But it's eight a day. Okay. Okay. Um, and these are the, uh, the creams for the eye drops. Yeah, four times a day. Is it eye times. drops? No, or it's, cream? it's a cream. How do I apply it? You just need to, the lower eyelid, just on the inside along the lower eyelid. Oh, okay. And then when you blink, then it will, will disperse. Oh, okay. okay. All, right. All right. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That's it. This is mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We are 
basically done. Sorry, we are done with the hospital, pharmacy, everything. I've got my meds here, and now we are going to wait for the bus. I didn't drive because coming to A and E, you don't know how long they will ask you to wait. And if you drive and you end up waiting four hours, five hours, you end up paying a lot for parking. So I always just um, use the bus, which is just about two pounds. And no matter how long you wait, you don't need to worry about where you parked, if you've paid for enough time, or if you need to go and pay to extend your time. So this is me. I'm going out of the hospital now and to go straight to the bus stop to wait. The bus is here. <laughs> the way the bus works is at every bus stop the people that wants to come off that were already on the bus we need they have priority they need to come off first so you if you see the bus stop you don't just walk in you have to allow time and give priority and way to people already on the bus that needs to come off once they are they've come down that's when you need to go in and because there were people at the bus stop waiting before i got here they also have priorities so i have to be behind them allow them time to get on the bus before i can come on the bus and with the bus i like it because you can pay with your card you, they do contact less you don't need to worry about if you don't have cash you can always pay with your card you can also pay with cash and this bus there's a campaign they did that every single trip is two pound or less so even if you travel on the bus for three hours as long as it's one way is a single trip is two pound if you're traveling for 30 minutes on the bus for one minute on the bus any single trip is two pound i like it because the bus fare was becoming increasingly expensive and making it such that if you're traveling for longer like an hour you need to pay sometimes five pound six pound four pound for a trip but they then did this campaign and subsidize the bus traveling fare that every single trip is two pound so even if i'm traveling from here to scotland as long as it's one bus and it's a direct trip and i don't need to come off is the same two pound which is very good i like it i don't know if they're at some point going to stop this campaign but for now let's enjoy our two pound trip and that's why whenever i'm coming to the hospital or to go into anywhere that i might take longer i don't bother driving because at the end of the day when you pay for parking it becomes more expensive i just jump on the bus and pay two pounds i'm back home so i'm just taking the lift to the house once I get in, have breakfast if I can, something <coughs> like a smoothie for breakfast and I will just sleep and rest.